welcome to today's episode about the clinical cases. This episode will be the first one in a mini-series dedicated to implantology. We will follow the process of preparation before implantation and we will introduce the tools that can help determine whether or not is the patient a suitable candidate for an implant. The patient needed a tooth implant in place of tooth 36 and therefore a proper examination was needed to ensure that the implantation was possible and safe and to determine the size and length of the implant. The patient was scanned by Vatex uh, 3D CBCT unit. Here we can see the spot indicated for an implant, so we can click on the 3D pen tab at the top and look at a pseudo panoramic image of the teeth. The navigator in the shape of a green square helps us with navigating the section images in the lower part of the screen. We can now move the navigator into the area of lower mandibula and see the area of the implant. We can now look at the axial plane in the lower left part of the screen. There is a red line which we can rotate all 360 degrees with the help of the wheel buttons at both ends of the line. This helps us to see the whole area of the implant. After we check the bone and determine that everything looks suitable for the implant, we can now focus on the mandibular canal and find its exact location. We can use the navigator to find foramen mental. Once we have found it, we can click on draw canal at the top and start drawing the whole mandibular canal. We can do that by looking at the sections at the bottom and right clicking at the location of the canal while using the scroll wheel to move through the sections. We can now see the whole drawn mandibular canal in the whole rendering image of the volume. We can also lower the opacity of the image on the left to see the canal more clearly. Next step in implant planning is bone density qualification. We will find the spot where we want to check the bone density with the help of the navigator and then use the tool called Profile, which will help us identify potential problems with the bone. We will draw a line along which we can measure the bone density. A graph will appear where we will get all the necessary information which we will need for determining if the patient is suitable for an implant. We can also go back to the 3D pen tab and click bone density on the left, which will show a colored overlay over the radiographic image corresponding to the bone density D1 to D5. This is another tool which makes the implant planning much easier and more comfortable. We can use the real buttons again to rotate through the bone and check the colored overlay. Another helpful function for bone density qualification is ROI, region of interest. If we select the area of potential implant, this tool will show us the average bone density in the area. The last step in the implant planning is the measurement of distance between the alveolar ridge and the mandibular canal, which will easily determine the length and shape of the implant. As you can see in this case, the distance is 15 millimeters. By using all the previously mentioned tools, you can easily plan an implant and its size, determine if the patient is suitable for the implantation and make sure there will be no complications. Please stay tuned for the second episode in the Implantology mini-series where we will talk about the process of choosing an implant and implant placement into the 3D image. Thank you for watching and if you like this episode of What the Clinical Cases, please subscribe for more videos from the series.